Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Alex Libby. For our forecast, we have some good news to talk about and also some not so good news. So for tomorrow, it's going to be warmer. It's going to still be dry, so that's bad for the fire. But the winds will be a little bit lighter. That's There's some good news. Another quick shot of rain, much like we had last night. That will be coming uh, Sunday night. And then we do have more rain chances in the forecast. Yeah, exclamation point, because we need the rain. And looking like we're getting into a little bit more of an active pattern over the next week or so. So satellite radar, just some clouds on it, partly cloudy skies this evening, not really much to talk about, and even less to talk about tomorrow. High pressure overhead, that's why it won't be windy, and that's why it will be very sunny. But quickly, I want to talk about Hurricane Henry. That will be making landfall in New England for the first time hurricanes made landfall in New England since 1991. It just shows you how rare it is. And those along the New York coastline and Connecticut and Rhode Island coastlines, flooding is pretty likely because there's going to be a full moon, which will mean very high tides, and then that hurricane will be coming in right there. So hope, uh, hope for them th the best and the flooding isn't too bad. And then as we head into Monday for us, there is that quick shot of rain, a little cold front making its way through the Northlands. That's midnight Monday morning. So Sunday night into Monday, another little quick shot of rain. Hopefully that one overperforms, unlike the one we had last night that was honestly not that great. Monday afternoon, we're going to be seeing sunshine return. And sunshine will last a couple days, but look to the west, another area of showers. So I like to see that. I like to see multiple, you know, low pressure systems bringing some showers. That's going to go through Tuesday night into Wednesday. So some positive outlook is our, our pattern is looking a little bit more active. So let's talk about wind since that's such a big deal with those fires located just to the south of Ely. So winds tomorrow morning, good news. They're pretty light, five to six miles per hour, but Sunday afternoon, you can see, start picking up. They're going to be out of the southeast, which is what they were all last week. So that fire is going to continue to push north. And as we head into Sunday night, they'll get pretty gusty before that cold front goes through out of the south. Then that cold front will go through Monday morning into the afternoon, and we'll see those winds pretty gusty out of the west. So the only really good time we have for winds is going to be tomorrow morning, and we'll see them kind of ramp up into Sunday night as well. So forecast for tonight, less windy, west 5 to 15. And Cool. Temperatures dropping into the 40s, 44 degrees there in Hibbing, 50 in Ashland, 48 in Spooner, 47 in Hayward, 48 degrees in Mercer there. Tomorrow, warmer than today. It's not going to be humid. It's not going to be hot, but mid-70s. And it will be dry, unfortunately, for that fire. And those southeast winds will pick up into the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. We have that nighttime chance for showers Sunday night into Monday. Another nighttime shot for showers Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then Friday, I'm keeping an eye on that one is that one really could produce a good amount of rain. Again, it's six days out, so stuff could change, but at least we're seeing three rain chances on that seven day as opposed to zero or one, which we've been seeing lately. I so, feel like the odds are in our favor. I mean, with more and more rain chances, one is bound to pan out, right? I wish those rain chances would have 100% instead of just 40% because they're, right. they're not crazy strong rain chances, which is unfortunate, but at least they're there. And as we move into the fall, we'll start seeing a more active mm -hmm. pattern take place, which should help with those fires. And something is better than nothing. Yep. Okay, Alex, thanks.